evening and welcome back to Bangalore, India. We've actually decided to extend our stay in this city because we are enjoying it so much. We'll actually show you where we've checked into tomorrow morning. But first on the agenda is to try out some of the famous Bengaluru street food. And apparently the best place to go is the VV Puram market. We're currently on the hunt for it. I think the main street is actually under renovation as of filming, so it's all closed. But out the front, supposedly there are still 20 to 30 different street food vendors specializing in South Indian cuisine, specifically vegetarian food. Is VV Puram this way? This way, straight. Okay. Then bad. is behind me you can see a gathering of people and some umbrellas there's not quite 20 to 30 as matt said the main part of it is actually under construction so i think just a few have managed to come down we're actually going to be heading to a very famous bakery first which is just here we have to like follow the sign and this was the, the only people. place we'd heard of here the only place that comes up as a must try so as you can see by the sign we are off to the vb bakery all of these here normally have their own shop on the main street which i think is currently oh yeah it's, it's under construction but the only place on the street still open is the vb bakery so normally all of this would be along the main street here but because the vb bakery is so famous they've managed to i don't know blag their way to keeping <laughs> their shop open where else everyone else gets kicked to the side I don't think they want to sell us anything. I came here for the cakes. They prepare very good cakes. I read online that you should try the Congress bun. Is that right? The bun? The Congress bun. This is this. Okay. It's made of the egg and the flour. Flour? Yeah. Flour, flour. Is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. You can take it. Yeah, okay. And how much is this? Kidna? No, no, only cake for you. Honey, honey cake. Okay, do you want one? Just one. Just one. Okay, please. Thank you. Then you Thank you. So that is. It's a very old bakery. It's a very old bakery. Yeah, I used to come to my childhood. Really? Oh, and what do you always get when you come here? Okay, I get some snacks and the cake is a special. Honey cake and the buns. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. Then you Welcome. So you're from where? Uh, we're from UK, from Thank London. Thank you so much. So this is the famous, right? The famous bun. <laughs> we're also getting one of the best sellers, which is, I believe, a Congress bun. Um, what's actually in the bun? Do you know what is in the bun? It is, it's a, it's a, some kind of spices is there inside. So it's not sweet? Butter and no, sweet. It's a spice. Ah, butter and sweet. Butter, butter and sweet. sweet. So what do you eat this for? Like dessert? It's like a snack for us. A snack? Okay, great. It looks good. Thank you. How much is for both? This special pumpkin sun, uh, Sunday special. Sunday. Oh, we I would just get these two. Good. These two are good. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. We are going to give you some inspiration to change the way that you travel. Teaming up with Skyscanner, we're going to create a little game called the Skyscanner Roulette. Skyscanner is a world travel engine helping you find the best deals on hotels and flights and much more. They actually have this really great feature called the Explore Everywhere button and we're actually gonna be using that to play the Skyscanner Roulette. So on the Skyscanner website, I have put in my departing airport. I've seen that little button, Explore Everywhere. I've clicked that and chosen my date. Skyscanner has then actually picked some countries starting from the cheapest. I can travel to Luxembourg for a few nights in late July for only 81 pounds return. Now that is an absolute bargain. You wouldn't have known this flight, or maybe even Luxembourg, as a destination for a few nights existed if you didn't check out the Skyscanners Explore Everywhere or played the Skyscanner Roulette. It's such a great way to explore new options of destinations, but also to help you find the cheapest destinations to travel to. Have fun playing the roulette and let's get back 
to the video. I didn't think they were gonna sell us anything at first, but luckily a kind man has helped us out. So this is literally what they are famous for. These buns that look very interesting. He said butter and peanuts. That is so unusual. So this is like a snack. So it's like a sweet snack but spicy. Let's try it. It looks very, very interesting, very spongy. They make them fresh every day. That's weird. It's like got onion in it. Um, and this was 30 rupees for this bun. Four little chunks of bun. I mean, it's like spicy peanuts, but with bread. I don't know, I just can't get used to it. This is the honey cake, which that kind gentleman said is what he always goes to the bakery for. At first, I didn't think they wanted to sell us anything. I thought we were in trouble, but let's try the honey cake. Mmm, it's good. Very good. Mmm. It's essentially what it says on the tin. It's a cake filled with honey. Mm, it's really good. And apparently, the Phoebe Bakery, I think he was explaining, is one of, if not the most famous bakery in all of Bangalore. And generation after generation have passed down their little tips and make these delicious honey cakes. It probably wasn't the best idea to start with a dessert. Well, mine was like spicy, but like you can see, we're just walking back through like towards the market. You can see people are just cooking everything. I have no idea what they're cooking, but everything looks insane. which I think is like an ice cream drink, special waffles, rolls and bun toast, but one thing that really caught my eye is like potato chips potato on a stick. Potato swirlies or something, it looks so cool. How much are these? Six Pick up? Six rupees. Sixty. Can I have egg? one please? One. Yes, thank you. What are they? Is it just potato? Uh -huh. It's just potato. What is this? Masala. Masala. Masala butter. Oh my god. So they're putting thinly spiraled potatoes Ooh, in masala and then he butter. just drops it in. So you get it from there, he rolls them, adds masala butter, oh, and then they just crisp up like that. Oh my god, that is so cool. And 60 rupees. Narashkara by sub. Ah, so you roll the potatoes here, and then it comes here, you add the masala sauce. You fry them. How long does it take in here? How many minutes till it's ready? Five minutes. Five minutes, perfect. It looks really interesting. I mean, I've seen them before and they normally just add like salt to it, but never have I ever seen a masala batter. <laughs> wow, what's this? <coughs> Is it spicy? More masala. Oh, everything's spicy. Is it really spicy? I think it's really spicy. I'm nervous for this. Not only has it been rolled in the masala batter. Oh my god, more? It's just adding more and more <laughs> masala. Oh, mayonnaise. and what is this? Ketchup? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. What? Interesting. A very interesting concoction. I've never seen this before. Is it good? Is it tasty? Nice? Yeah? Okay. Then you're bad. Thank you. This looks very interesting, I must admit. Potato, masala batter on a spiral stick. This is going to be boiling hot, isn't it? Are you ready? Do it. Mm. Wow, it's like not spicy. Really? I oh, what after all that masala? It's it's a weird thing. It's like it tastes like sweet potato fries. Hear me out with like a little bit of chili added on top. Okay, now I think the kick might be coming, but it's not as hot as I was expecting. There seems to be like a bit of a queue waiting for these like bun type things. I'm so intrigued. There's like a paste of sauce and he's putting like spices on them. Um, hello, what is this? Pavaji. Pavaji, what is that? Tomato. <laughs> tomato? Tomato, tomato. Spicy? Is it good? Okay. And what do you call it, the name? And this is? Dabili. 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 Okay, we'll get one. Okay, one, please. How much? 50. 50. Okay, great. Well, I still don't know what it's called, but it looks good.
Ah, so you add some butter, you get these roll type things stuffed with tomato and, and peanuts. Chickpeas or peanuts, something like that. And then just fries the bun. I'm still I'm still not sure what this is. Let's have a look. Is, that, is it a pav bhaji? I mean, I'm not sure, but absolutely everybody has a little silver tray with these on, so I feel like we have to try it. Thank you, Daniel Vad. I'm still not sure what we have. I'm still not sure, but it looks pretty impressive. How do you say it? How do you spell it? Have Have Baji. Okay, great. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> that was that was really chaotic. Everyone was saying it in a different way. So it's Pav. Baji, how we would say it. So essentially they're like the buns, as Matt said, it's got tomato, he's fried it in butter. I could only imagine that this is like one of the unhealthiest things to eat, right? Like a buttered bun full of peanuts, but it looks so good. Did we pay? Yeah. We I'd paid, pay. how much? 50 rupees. I think everything is between like 30 and 60 rupees. It's nice. Do you know what's weird about it? It's really sweet. Like, is it supposed to be sweet? Okay, my first time trying. A pav bhaji. Everyone was saying something different, but I think you I, th got there I in think the it's end. a pav bhaji. <gasps> You'll see what I mean. It's like sweet. Oh, okay. It's sweet, tomatoey, peanutty. There's even some peanuts in there. I mean, would you eat it as a snack or would you eat it as like a mini sweet? It's like I don't know. It's good. It's like everything seems to be like savory sweet. Look, <laughs> it works. Samosa? No, you don't have samosa. What do you have? Do you have momos? Momos. Mm -hmm. So what is the momo? What's inside? Steamed. 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 Okay, paneer, please. Yeah, one. One more paneer. Oh my god, this is so cool. So, are they. Wow! Oh, they're like dumplings. There's like a little photo there. So, they look like little dumb. They look like little dumplings, but they're like steamed. I think you can get, um, obviously, vegetables because it's a vegetarian street. You can get paneer. And I think he said it was 80 to 1, which seems a bit steep, don't you think? Seems I don't know. It seems a little bit. So Kidna rupees? For. Two rupees or 80 rupees? 80. For how many pieces? 80 rupees. Ah, 80, 80 rupees. Ah, that, that makes sense. Thank you, Danny Man. Okay, we have some. A Only a little bit spicy. Bit spicy. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Ah, so he's adding some. Ooh, some garlic spicy. Do you know if they say it's spicy, it's going to be extra spicy for us. And now we're putting garlic on top. Garlic out of the packet and mayonnaise. I've never seen that before. Man, eh? Inter <laughs> okay. Interesting. Oh, Danyabad, thank you. Wow, look at those. Right. Freshly steamed, yes, please. Thank you, bad. Do you have a fork? Great, thank you ever so much. Thank, thank you, bad, bad. Wow, look at these. Okay, let's get out of that. Wow, that was interesting. I didn't even know that like South Indian cuisine had buns. These are very like Southeast Asian, Chinese, I think these might Japanese. be from the north. I don't think okay, they're necessarily South Indian. I thought all of this was South Indian vegetarian, but we moved. So, did he say they were paneer? Stuff with paneer. Am I hoping? You know they're going to be good. <laughs> okay, I'm putting, I might put too much of that red sauce on. Let's see. Mmm. Okay, inside, it's like vegetables and paneer. I mean, they're nice, they're quite salty. I don't get the mayonnaise at all, but not bad, not bad. We're doing quite well. We're trying to eat as much as possible before <laughs> the light goes. So here we go. Yeah, the lighting's oh, you know what I'm using my hand, Momo. Yeah, you might as well. Let's do it, in one. Oh, okay. Can you see it's like crumbly paneer inside? It's essentially like a bao bun. Yes, yes. It that's is. been stuffed. They're a lot softer though than a bao bun, like not so doughy. They're a lot softer. Of course, they're extra spicy. <laughs> and then you've got that little bit of paneer inside. I'm not sure about the mayonnaise of it. I it's like weird. the spicy chutney. Yeah, the chutney is nice. But the mayonnaise is not for me. I actually don't know what to get now. I don't know, but I have a major sweaty top lip from I'm these spiced. spices. 
Nat Spice on them Momos was outrageous. It's not getting any better, is it? In any, if anything, there's, it's burning. What should we get? I don't know. Ice cream. Ice cream. I think that that's ice cream. cream. I don't know. I don't know what coffee is. That says Rajasthan coffee. Should we do it? <laughs> we'll try. Let's have a look. What is this? What is this? <laughs> it's like ice cream. It's like an ice lolly. Is it nice? Ah. Is it good? It's good. Is it good? Acha? Yeah? Okay. He says it's good. We'll see. Hello. Namaste. So, what flavor do you have? Flavor. 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 Is it ice cream? Is it good? Like, it is ice cream. Which one? It's ice cream? Not, North India like ice cream. Ah, okay. Made okay. Up of North Indian style. Okay. Uh, how much is one normal? You, you can get a price here yeah? and this is the flavor of the ice cream. Oh, there's lots of flavors. Should we just get the normal one? Yeah, we get the original. Original. One, please. Yes, thank you. So it's 30 rupees for one Malai kulfi. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Thank you. Danyavad. Danyavad. Thank you. Okay, so it's like... We got 10 rupees change. Oh. That's okay. You keep. That's okay. Thank you. Right, we'll try it. These are nice, yeah? You like them? I eat daily. You have every day. How many do you eat a day? You are the Kofi king. <laughs> the Kofi king. Just one. Here's okay. The Kofi king. Right, I'm gonna try it now. Ready? You're from which country? We're from England. We don't have Kofi in England. In That's England interesting. Just ice cream, coffee. Just ice cream, coffee. not Kofi. This is weird. It's like it sour. It's made up of milk and badam and kaiju. It's milk and butter. Badam, badam. Badam. What's badam? badam. It is a dry fruit. Oh, dry dry fruit. fruit. Ah, then you've had by sub. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's not my favorite. It's quite sour. Like, I think you can taste the different type of fruit in there. It's good. It's very good. Acha, thank you. It's interesting. I think you should try it and tell me what you think. Might not look good. Me sucking <laughs> on a long <laughs> stick <laughs> around so many people. Okay, Kofi. Mmm. Very good, very good by sub. Mm. It's interesting. It doesn't have that much flavour. No, but it's sour, right? It's not that sweet. It is very sour. But he is the, the Kofi King. So it's from Rajasthan. I don't know if it's, I think he was saying it's a North Indian delicacy. Interesting. But obviously you can get it everywhere. And it's 30 degrees tonight, so. It has cooled down my mouth, I can't lie. Gonna suck on my Kofi. What is it? What do you have? It's Romali roti. Roti? Yes. With what? This sabji roti. Sabji with roti? Yes. Okay. And uh, kidna? Uh, 50 rupees. 50 rupees. Okay, I'll have egg. One, please. Okay, wow. so this is a roti. And by sub is making it fresh in front of yes. me. Rolling it out. And then you're going to put it on the hot pan. Woohoo! Uh, you have skills. Wow. Yes. Up again. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> you have skills by sub. You're showing off now, you're showing off. You show off. Yes! This I love it. This might be the best roti we've ever had. I think it is. Now he's just showing off, he's loving it. Right. It's huge. That is a big roti. So you can feel the heat coming from this hot stone. Um, and it bubbles, look how quickly it bubbles. And are you from uh, Bangalore? Yeah. It's good, I like Bangalore. Very good city. Better than London. It's Better than London. Yeah. And there we go, we have our roti. Oh, and this is the sauce. Uh, this okay. Is it spicy? Uh, light. So light. very spicy. <laughs> light is spicy. That oh, looks good. There's like some peas, some potatoes. Perfect. Oh, I think it's going to be a little bit spicier than mild, to be fair. My mouth is all so much, like, look at it, sweating and on fire. Oh, amazing. Ah, and some onion. Thank you. Danya bad. Thank you. This is probably going to be the best roti we've ever tried. Right, okay, let me just move out the way. Oh my god, we've got ice cream. This is crazy. Right, so here's the fresh roti that you saw him flip it up in the air. And our little, like sambar thing, right? Like I think so. It's nice. It's quite spicy, I must admit. It's, um... It's really, really fragrant, the curry. You've got peas, you have some potato here, and obviously you have... He wants us to roti. film him doing his flips oh. again. It's very good. Are oh, you doing it again? This is normal already. This time extra high. Yes. We break the world record. 
world, world record of a roti thrower. Is that even a thing? He is. <laughs> he is setting new records. He is an innovator. The roti innovator of Bangalore. Okay, are you ready? We hit the tree. Look, whoa! You're very good. Look at this. It will get stuck in the tree. So they were actually just explaining to us that the main road behind us... That's one. Yeah, 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 we'll get a photo. So you were explaining next week the street will reopen. Yeah. And then it, they were at the moment... No, 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 English, English. You can speak English. Your English is good. Your English is very good. You were just telling me that, that, that next week the street will reopen. Next, next week, construction is there going on. And it will be finished next week. Next week. Next week, next week or soon it will be finished. And then in one month. In one month. So in one month it will be finished and all of these stalls will be back on the main road. That makes sense. Then you're bad. Yeah, 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 we'll take a photo. We'll take a photo. Okay. So yeah, this will actually be gone. We're actually one of the last people. There's actually more than I expected. Yeah, we're one of the last people to experience the street like this. So it's, it's a little bit of an honor. <laughs> That's a lot of It's good, you have it? Good, is yeah. it a good one? It's a good one. So actually on no, 15 is opening on mark of uh, Independence Day. Oh, 15? Oh. Independence Day. Oh. Ah, so on Indian Independence, Independence, the street is back. Hey. Okay, it's a shame we're not here still on the 15th because the main street will be back. Like I said, we got to experience this version, a very unique version of the market. Anyway, we have actually exhausted all of our funds at the market. So we're going to go back to MG Road. MG Road, yeah? MG Road. Anywhere on MG Road. No problem. To, to, uh, to get to an ATM. Hello, my friend. How are you, bye sub? Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we're, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back to MG Road and see if we can find some more food there. So that was VV Puram, the most famous street food street in all of Bangalore. Normally, like we said, it'd be on the main road and you probably have like 100 to 150 different shops but at the minute there's only 20 but they said it's going to reopen in a couple of weeks but we're back in mg road we've got some money out from the atm and i need a drink I need to find a little drink on the side of the road to wash all that food down from this evening namaskar bye sub how much for uh, kidney peso kidney rupees 30 rupees can i have one please one this is perfect we found a fresh lime soda on the side of the street by sub is just gonna press them. How many limes to make a drink? Well, no sugar or salt? Uh, no sugar, no salt, just fresh. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very uh, I reckon it's gonna be bitter. a lot of limes. Yeah, very bitter. So you've pressed it and then, is this soda that you've added? No salt, no sugar. This is lime and soda. And soda water, and it's, okay, perfect. Then you're bad. Then you're bad. You have change? Yeah. Perfect. You're the first person to have change. First person to have change. So here we have a fresh lime soda. I thought it was just going to be lime juice, but here we go. It's good. It's very good. It's a little bit bitter, but I like it. Acha. Acha. It's good. Should I try? try. You meant to have it sweet or salty, but we went for just pure lime and soda. Woo! Wow, they're fresh limes. It's eh? good. It's good, very healthy. This is, I think you could probably do with some sugar in it, um, but it's good, it's refreshing. Then you've had, by sub. I like this one. Using packaged water, that's very good. It's important, the drinks are what scare me a little bit in India, I don't know whether they're going to be using bottled water or who knows what type of water, but that was the perfect way to wash down my street food this evening. We actually need to show you in the morning where we're staying, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. I am absolutely stuffed. I've definitely indulged in way too much Indian street food at Vivi Puram last night, but I said we were going to show you where we are staying in Bangalore as we decided to extend our stay. This is the Iris Hotel, basically on MG Road. We are in walking distance from literally all the sites of the city and we are just waiting for our breakfast. We are about to have two 
giant doses from my friend here, you can see. He gets the dosa, is this like sauce or batter? Yes, sir. The batter, chucks it on there, and then you have some amazing South Indian delicacies. I don't even know if I've got any room for this. Thank you very much, Danyavad. That is crazy. huge, yeah, thank you very thank much. You. What a surprise, this massive dosa made right here on our rooftop. Got some chutneys, wow, what a way. Just like your breakfast, it's so crispy. This is honestly such a nice place to have your breakfast. You've got amazing views of the city of Bangalore. You can see the massive flag, the Indian flag there, and you can have your crispy dosa right by this infinity swimming pool. I mean, the location is just unreal as well. We're literally right by MG Road, Church Street, and a few shopping malls. We are definitely gonna have to get into this pool later. I think there's even a rooftop gym behind us, but the views from up here, and for around only 40 pounds a night to be staying in a hotel with a rooftop pool, breakfast right on MG Road, walking distance to all the sites of Bangalore. Look at that, that right there where the flag is, that is MG Road. And I am really falling in the pool right now. And I think this just up here, right above the infinity pool. Yeah, look at that. There's a little gym where you can work out and look at MG Road and the pool below you. I mean, not many places in the world, I'll show you. You could get a hotel, gym, infinity pool, breakfast, right in the center. For 40 blooming pounds a night. And this is our room. It's real value for money. Like I said, the doses are amazing, so crispy. So we have all of our storage space. In the bathroom, you actually have a bath and a shower. The shower has two showers. We have our little desk space. You are going to have to ignore the mess because we are some of the messiest people ever. We have all these open windows behind us, our TV. We have swans. They even give you pets when you check in. And the last thing that I really wanted to- Oh, mention. this is so cool. They have a, <laughs> a foot massager that we need to test out. I've never known a hotel give you a foot massager. So yeah, that is the Iris Hotel. If you're coming to Bangalore and you want somewhere right in the city center for a good price, definitely check it out. Literally, you can walk to pretty much everything you want to see in the city. But that was the street food street of Bangalore, VV Param. Well, it was a street food street that's closed at the moment. But by the time you go, they said Independence Day, it'll be reopened. It won't just be a few stalls like we have, but we definitely got to try out and sample a little bit of the Bangalore street food scene but we do have a little bit more left to see and do in this city i believe before we move on to our new destination so if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one from somewhere in bangalore <laughs>